What's up guys? Back with another episode of What the Fitness, cause it's, what they Oh, it's Friday, mother What the f All right, and this video comes to us from TikTok and a guy named Dr. Terry Simpson, who apparently is a bariatric surgeon. I am Dr. Simpson, I'm a weight loss surgeon and I really wanna keep you out of the operating room. But I'm kind of on a little bit of a rant and the rant goes like this. Calories in and calories out. I hear that all the time. Because it's it science. Worked, I wouldn't have a job. I wouldn't have weight loss surgery patients or more patients coming in. So let's just be honest that that doesn't work. We're not a machine. It's not. Actually, we are a machine because you know what happens when you stick people in a metabolic chamber and you feed them a defined amount of calories? They lose pretty much exactly the amount of weight that is expected. Do you know why people don't lose weight when they're on low calories? because the average person underreports the caloric intake by 30 to 70%. People eat more than they say to you. Oh my God, who would imagine that people would actually lie? Oh, let's look at other things. Debt, people underreport the debt that they have by 155% in this country. So of course they lie about the food they eat because God forbid anybody take responsibility for themselves. You put in the calories, we do a certain amount of work, and then we expend calories. Calories were originally invented in the Industrial Revolution for machines. You don't invent calories. Calories aren't invented. Calories are the energy that is stored in the chemical bonds of food, and that energy is transferred during the process of metabolism. Not for people. It's useful to know calories, but it's useful to know many other things. Well, about you don't food. know calories, bro, because you talking some shit. Let me give you an example. An apple is about half. Here the come the straw of man arguments. Donut. So if you eat two apples versus a donut, where do you think you're going to gain weight? You intrinsically know this, right? You know that if you eat an apple, an apple is about seventy to eighty calories. Two apples, about one hundred and fifty calories of a like a moderate sized apple. A donut can be anywhere from 250 to 500 calories. So let me help you out with this, Doc. Uh, you're not equating calories. And further, apples are way more satiating than a donut. You know why people don't get fat eating apples? Because they're satiating and people don't overeat them by a ton. By the way, who eats one donut? Not this guy. Or two apples, you're not going to gain weight in spite of some weird people thinking you will. You know that if you eat two apples, you're not going to gain weight eating two apples that are 150 calories? Somebody call the news station! In digestion, all of that fiber goes through your digestive system. And not only does it help you prevent you from absorbing all of the fructose. And Holy shit, he's saying fiber prevents you from absorbing fructose? What are you smoking, bro? Uh, Fiber, don't do that. News flash, you absorb that fructose. Also news flash, it's fine. Fructose in moderation, not gonna make you fat. And sugars in the apple, it also with the other things that you eat. And you know that if you eat that donut, that all of those calories are gonna be open. The door is gonna open with the sugar in the donut and the fat in the donut is gonna be. What, what, what door? What door? Are you talking about the portal vein of the liver? I mean, what, what, what door are we talking about here? This guy has literally no idea what he's talking about. He does not understand calories. He does not understand energy balance. And may God have mercy on his soul. Deposited on your hips, thighs, belly, wherever, it's not calories in, calories out. And maybe the best example of that's Biggest Loser. And I've had patients who are on Biggest Loser. I've done weight loss surgery on them. Why is that? Did they go back? Hang on a second. The biggest loser? You mean where people exercise and restrict their calories and lose over a hundred pounds? Oh, wait a second. I thought calories didn't matter. So do they matter or don't they, Doc? Back to their old habits. For those of you who don't know, biggest loser was- They go back to their old habits and they regain the weight? You mean their old habits of eating too much and not exercising enough? Oh my God. Somebody call the news. This man has figured out the problem with weight loss in this society, which is eating too much and not being physically active enough, even though he doesn't think it is. Three months away, put in a 1200 calorie a day diet and most of the- Wait, he just said calories don't matter. Julian he, he, he just said calories don't matter. And then he talked about how they put them on a 1200 calorie diet. So what happened, doc? Push harder. 
doesn't work. Why? Because but it did work because they lost the weight. As to why they regained the they weight. They couldn't sustain it. Changed their diets. That doesn't it's mean that, that calories don't work. Slowed. So when someone says calories in, calories out, it's so oh, simple. You can eat anything you want as long as you do that. Science doesn't bear that out. It's bro, you never read a science. You wouldn't know a scientific study if it came up and bit you on the ass. Like, yes, you can eat whatever you want and lose weight if you are calorically restricted. However, eating whatever you want is a really bad way to try to restrict calories because people don't restrict calories when they're hungry. So you need to eat high fiber, high satiety foods. Those are typically good foods like apples. But if you wanna have a donut every once in a while and you fit it into your calories, it's fine. You're not gonna get fat. Don't listen to people like this. Not true. And please don't tell that to my patients. I've had thousands of patients who have all tried calories in, calories out. So why do we preach the Mediterranean or the DASH diets? Because it's targets of certain healthy foods for you. Do you know what happens if you go look at a study on the Mediterranean diet or the DASH diet? You know what the authors talk about in the study? They talk about how it's a calorically restricted diet. They talk about nutrient density to help restrict calories. To achieve. It doesn't say don't eat anything. It hits targets of good food. So calories in, calories out. That's 1950s nutritional thinking. And if your health coach or gym rat says that to you, please understand. There's a lot of us doctors out here who have patients that have tried that and it's defeating. It's just defeating. So you don't try calories in, calories out. It is a physical law. And that's like saying, you know, I tried earning more money than I spent and it just didn't work for me because when I was budgeting and when I was restricting my outlay, I saved money. But then when I stopped practicing those habits, um, I didn't save money. Well, no shit. Because if you don't continue to do the behaviors and habits that allowed you to make that progress in the first place, of course you're going to put it back on. But you're eating more calories when you're putting it back on. Calories in versus calories out is not something you do. It is a physical law. Now the food you eat can affect how many calories you take in and how many calories you expend. But this guy has no idea about that and apparently somehow got through med school and residency not being able to understand a fucking bit of physiology. All right, guys, that's it for this week. I'm gonna go take a cold shower and detox my brain from that because I am now dumber for having watched it.